Welcome everyone for the Forza Motorsport 3 Community Choice DLC and today we are going to try one of the most craziest brands ever known and not also one of the less known Italian brands which is the Tommaso. It's named after Andrea de Tommaso, one of the first uh, Italian pilots and this is one of their most known cars, the Ventura. Even if the car has an Italian design, it has an American engine, an American B8 engine, which was the also known Ford B8 Cleveland engine. It had 357 cubic inches, which that means those are around 6-7 liters, and it was, it had that car, let's see, it was like, for me, this car is like an Italian mobster. And why so? Well, it has an American engine, but its design was run by Italians. So you have mostly like Al Capone, except that Al Capone was born in, in on Italy. Let's say, uh, like one of the sons of Peter Corleone on the Godfather, yeah, that sounds better. What I love mostly from this car is its engine, which is a Ford Cleveland engine. Oh, yeah, this engine was too big <laughs> to carry. This engine was a scrap for a Ford Mustang, the Cleveland engine, because most Fords had Windsor engines, and they were specifically designed for the Ford Falcon, and later for the Ford Mustang. <laughs> and, you know, the Cleveland engine, it's really different. It has more torque, but that doesn't let it, but that doesn't let it to be different from the Mustang engines. It had a real different building because it was made on a Cleveland plant of Ford, but you know, it has the, that characteristic sound from the muscle cars. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it's a lovely car to drive. It really makes it on Mugello actually I don't know why and also this car was really mad it drives really well also for having a really crazy engine I mean most Italians didn't get out of the let's see three liters and a half but this engine has 300 57 cubic inches. That's like two thirds for the time. Well, yeah, there was Lamborghini on its time, and they also did prototypes of Ferrari with four liter engines. But this car was Italian, had an Italian built, built chassis, and many things and many things that made the Italian cars so classy and so sporty. And yet it had an American engine. In fact, lots of lots of people don't consider uh, consider this car Italian because of its engine. But yet it has those aggressive lines from the from those times Ferraris and Lamborghinis. I mean, it has a bit of the Daytona of the Ferrari GTV Daytona. Another part from the Lamborghini Espada. <laughs> it's really nice. So, like I said, it's like an Italian, well, an Italo American mobster. Italian American. Yeah. It was a good mix. I don't know why they didn't do this kind of cars anymore. They have done really good advantages. For example, this car could be a real 
challenge for Ferrari because as you know during the 60s when Shelby was part of the Ford racing team they had a secret rivalry with Ferrari in fact when the Ford GT prototype was ready to run on Monza Ferrari itself suspended the race thanks to his influences and his connections in other words he was really scared that Shelby could win that race with its steam and its prototype and so this car shares that kind of trait it's American e it has an American engine but its design looks from Ferrari and Lamborghini and so the brand is the Tommaso named after a really nice pilot and engineer about the car it handles fantastically well and the acceleration is pretty normal for its power of course also I like when it turn when it turns the corners how the oversteer makes it fun I mean you could drift it without pulling the handbrake and then you could do a nice slide without taking care about it it's really nice and also its engine gives it a nice speed up to 150 miles per hour which that's really lovely from this kind of car Now, listen to the engine carefully. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's American power inside lovely Italian power. <laughs> and, sorry guys, but this is for the haters. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs>